previously. Hello. Eek! And so we go. Hello friends, my name is Renee, and welcome back to Corpse Party. As you can see, I changed my layout a little bit. In fact, I'm actually going to fix my camera here a little so I can center it. It's going to annoy the fuck out of me if it's not centered later. Okay, so yeah, we're back to playing Corpse Party, and my computer is muted because it's excessively loud. So yeah. Uh, was I on chapter two? Oh, I guess I can... What does the little stars mean? I don't know. Load suspend data for this chapter. Yes. Yes. Alright, let's do this shit. Hey, it's me. Hello. But yeah, do you guys like my new layout with all this stuff over here? Um, I had the Corpse Party logo down here before, but it looked dumb. And I had to shrink it all anyways, so it didn't really work out. What's up? Can I help you? Oh, okay, cool. You're just there to be there. Okay, cool. Alright, I'm playing Corpse Party. Alright, what are we doing? No running in the halls. Okay. Easy enough. I don't think I can run. Classroom 3A, door is locked. Well, fine. I'm gonna go that way anyway. Admit it, you hate all your friends. Eventually, you'll, ki you'll kill one another. Well, that's just rude. What the hell? What just happened with the camera? What is... Alright. <coughs> oh. Oh no. Science lab. Door seems almost like a model as if sculpted onto the wall. There's no way of opening it. What? Ah! Oh god. What the hell is this? It's horrifying. It's like somebody was thrown from one end of the hall at superhuman speed. And just splattered everywhere. Oh, it smells so meaty. Uh, sorry, are you okay, Naomi? I'm... I'm fine. Let's just get away from here. <coughs> uh, okay. Alright. Away from the meaty bits. Can I go in here? Infirmary door is locked. Alright. Hey, I found another wood blank. Get a loose board. Yeah. Required loose board. My uh, down button keeps getting stuck. Alright. Mm, East Hall. What is this? There's several crumpled sheets of paper on the floor next to the body. They seem to have been dropped by the victim at the time of death. We four noble musketeers begin today. Let's meet behind the main gate after school. Koito. I'm in classroom 5A. Everybody's fine. Yuzaha, come join us. Asuka. The mostly bleached skeletal remains of a female student lies sprawled across the floor. Loose bones and scraps of clothing are dangling from a hole in the ceiling above the body, suggesting she fell to her death from the second floor. Upon closer inspection, there's a student ID name tag attached to what's left of her uniform. Seisei Academy for Girls, Class 1A, Yusuha Mikami. Aw. So sad. Hey, what's this? I told everyone that I'd go with them. So why have I been left behind? It hurts. It hurts so much. Looks like there really have been a lot of different people brought through here. I wonder how many. It'll work out for us, though. I'm sure of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. All right. Well, looks like I'm going this way. Hey. If you wish to leave this place, you must take heed of the messages left behind by min many other victims who have died here. Many victims have left their thoughts or even their dying messages on scraps of paper that litter these walls. It hurts. It hurts so much. Oh. Okay. Well, there's no one left. Look 
looks like it's going right. Left, left does not seem like the way I want to go right now. Am I just going in circles? Oh. Well, there's a red door there. There's a handwritten letter on the floor. <clears throat> I'm a goner, sis. The tendons of my ankle have been cut really bad. The bleeding just won't stop. Please, don't give up. I want you to keep living for both of us. I'm going to document everything I've learned so far and hope that you can use this information to keep yourself safe. There's a partially bleached skeleton sprawled across the floor. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any sort of name tag this time. Based on the gore-soaked remains of the uniform and the length of the hair scattered around the head, it's safe to say it was a female student. Okay. What's this? Custodian's closet. The door is affixed to the wall like a decoration. It won't open. There's an erratic noise, like that of a TV static coming from within. Alright. I guess let's go in here. Classroom 5A. Another skeleton. <clears throat> Skeletal remains of a girl with a big hole in her skull are, are still sitting on the chair. Closer inspection reveals the student ID name tag. Sensei Academy for Girls, Class I2, or is it 1 2? Asuka Kato. Crumpled up note fell from the skeleton's hand. You're an idiot, Koito. If you don't believe with all your heart, then we'll never get rescued. I thought we were friends. Okay. What's this on the wall over here? It's nothing. There seems to be a thing down here. Can I put the board? I guess I can just go from the bottom to get it. Do 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 do. Classroom 5A. What the? F what? Outside the window, something. I'm not even hinted what might be beyond it. What the actual hell? All right. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? If you don't keep a close eye on it, that light's going to run away from you. Pay attention to its location. Find the exact spot where it once stood and examine it thoroughly. Uh, no. It was right here. Okay. I think it was there. Ah, uh, there we go. Almost got it. Aha! Gotcha. Naomi, I got it. You did it? Nice job. Turned out to be this. Acquired infirmary key. Oh, hell yeah. Goes to show you what a little teamwork can do, eh? <laughs> we make a great team. Awesome. I acquired the infirmary key. I guess let's go see what's in that bloody-ass door now. Um, basement. The door is nailed shut. It definitely won't be opening anytime soon. Do not enter under c any circumstances. Principal Takami Yan Nagihori. Okay, I won't. Are these more shoes? There are bones here. There are skeletal remains sprawled across the floor here. Small enough to be a middle schooler. Looking closely, you can see a student ID name tag. Sese Academy for Girls, Class I-2, Koito Fujiwara. All right. My head is splitting. It's unbearable. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. When we found Yuzuha's body, I saw a black shadow. But I didn't tell anyone about it, and now it's killed them all. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. The lower half of the text is obscured by a thick layer of dried blood. Lovely. I guess let's go back to the infirmary, then. You still good over here? Okay. Mm looks like you're doing great. Can I use the blank to get across here? At all? No? Okay. I don't see anywhere I could put it. I know what you're Okay. I'd love a candle. That'd be nice. Is this the infirmary? Infirmary. Use the infirmary key. The door is now unlocked. Hey. 
There's a candle. Hell yeah. It's an old-fashioned space heater, but it's so full of ash that it'll probably never light again. The box of matches is on the ground next to it. Take them? Yeah. Fired box of matches. It's an old-fashioned space heater. Fortunately, yeah. Okay. Vast quantities of medicines and tonics are lined up inside on each of the shelves, along with a single bottle of rubbing alcohol. Uh, I could take one or bottle, two bottles with me, but I'd probably just end up breaking them and cutting myself. Besides, I don't trust anything in here. All right. Handle turns, but not a drop of water comes out. I didn't realize how thirsty I am. I didn't just realize how thirst, just how thirsty I am. I can't talk. There's an anatomical diagram of the human body tacked to the wall. Looking closely, it seems as if someone painted over each of the organs with actual blood. How lovely. Wash your hands with soap. Thanks. There's a pair of scissors on one of the shelves, both blades covered liberally in blood. Vast quantities of medicines or tonics are lined up. Can I do literally anything in here? I have a match. What do I do with the matches? Selena, what? <laughs> yeah. Can I sleep in this bed? I guess not. What the fuck am I doing in this room? I have matches. What do I do with matches? I guess I can go this way. Is this a room I can go in? No. Uh, lovely. Alright, I guess let's go look around and see what I missed. Oh, I can put the board here. Place loose board. Selena. Shh. You're loud. No, I didn't read the thing. Go back, read the thing. Uh, I guess I can't. Okay. Hey, the hell? Hello? I can't look at what's on the wall. Is there... No? Okay. I guess whoever it is is gone. Pile of haphazardly strewn human bodies is heaped upon the floor. Upon closer examination, a student ID name tag can be seen jutting out from one side. Seisei Academy for Girls, Class I-2, uh, Sasha Shino Shinonome. <clears throat> Alright. There's a crumpled piece of paper on the ground that seems to have fallen from the corpse's lifeless hands. Oh, look okay. God will surely save me. No, get down. I don't want you up on me. Sorry. I just don't. No, I don't want you on me. Go lay down. Well, that door's open. Lav laboratories. Boys' room to the left, girls' room at the end of the hall. There's a clump of unidentifiable meat inside the rusty bucket, completely crawling with maggots. Ew. I don't want you on my lap, cat. Let's go in the boys. Even turning the handle all the way, not a drop of water emerges from the faucet. The drain is completely stopped off with long strands of black hair, and the basin is filled with dirty water. That's disgusting. Ah, uh, okay. Smell of ammonia is almost staggering here. Smell of ammonia is almost staggering here. Okay. Ah. Shut the goddamn door. My bad, homie. What the hell was that? That was either an actual voice or an auditory hallucination. And I don't really know which is more likely. Y you know what? You do you, bro. Sorry to bother you. Girls? Uh, faucet, wait. What? Faucet makes an unpleasant sound of clanging pipes when the handle is turned, but no water comes out. The drain is completely stopped off with long strands of black hair. Even turning the handle all the way. Okay. Bathrooms? It won't open. Well, that's just lovely. Alright. Well, uh, 
digest so much for that. Now what do I do? Can I go? Oh. Hey, Naomi? Hmm? Do you have any of that ass medicine on you by any chance? You know, the smeary stuff. What? Again? Yep, my butt's been drier in the desert since we got here. Seiko? Well, I've got some antibacterial cream if that'll work. Thanks, I'm gonna go butter up my pooper with it real good. I didn't need to know that, honey. I didn't need to know that. Yay! Do you have any shame at all? Were you in here? Or did you go in the boys? Seiko? Hmm? Uh, nothing, just checking to make sure you're here. Seiko? Alright. Uh, I guess I just wait. Are you still here? No. Nope. Uh, okay. Seiko, are you done yet? On Seiko, I like being here by myself. Big brother, was that Yuka? Seiko doesn't take well, uh, being alone very well. Okay. Yo, Seiko, I heard Yuka. You still in here? Seiko? Hmm? Nothing, just checking to make sure you're here. Sorry for the wait. Thanks for the cream, Naomi. Put her there. Uh, no problem. Wait, hey, wait, was that stall open? Hmm? I thought that stall was locked when we were in here before. Was it? I didn't have any trouble getting in. Fine, I guess I'll let you off the hook. We have bigger things to worry about after all. I actually just heard Yuka's voice out in the hallway. I think it was coming from downstairs. Really? Let's go check it out. Right. Yuka! Excuse me. You? Get the fuck? Oof. Naomi, are you okay? That was a close one. My leg. Thanks for lending me a hand. No problem. I'm just glad you didn't fall. Seems like you sprained your ankle pretty badly, though. We should find you some place to sit down and rest. Yeah, you're probably right. Here, lean on my shoulder for the time being. Thanks. I owe you one, Seiko. Think nothing of it. Can I get my board back? No. Oh god. I I stepped in it. Ew, you did? Y here, I've got some tissues. Maybe you can uh, wipe it off. Oh, these are definitely somebody's guts. And when I stepped on whatever part of their body I stepped on, it made a squishy sound. I just like I just popped my shoe in the juicy pile of dog poo. Oh god, that's way too much information. You're going to make me puke. S sorry. All right, I assume we need to go back to the infirmary. I'm gonna save again. Yeah. <coughs> All right. 
Huh, somehow I expected the beds to be a lot, uh, dustier. Mm, they're surprisingly clean. That's good, though. Now you can finally rest your weary bones, Naomi. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lie down for a bit. All tucked in the cor way in the corner like that? I've always preferred nooks and corners. They just make me feel safe, I guess. <laughs> I know just what you mean. I'm the exact same way. Wonder if there's anything in here we could use to soothe that ankle of yours. Sit tight, Naomi. I'm gonna go look. Go take a look. Okay, thanks a bunch. Don't thank me yet. I haven't done anything. <sighs> this will do nicely. I got a makeshift splint and some bandages. The sprain's a goner. Now hold still. Oh man, you're a lifesaver. All right, you're wrapped up tight. How's it feel? Mm, feels great, Seiko. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're very welcome. I've sprained my ankle pretty badly before too, so I know just how you feel. I wish I had some ice cream or something to put on it though. No worries. You've done more than enough already. You're asleep now? That's fair enough, I guess. Why do you agree? <laughs> it's slumberland for me. You really are an oddball, you know that? <laughs> so hey, Naomi? If we find Machida, have you thought about what you want to do with him? Eh? Well, you know what they say, when two people are faced with difficult situations, shall we say, it often leads to sweet, leads to love, sweet love. You should well up all your courage and confess your feelings to him. You get all girly with him in this creepy place and your cuteness factor will go three sizes in his eyes, I bet. <laughs> I swear, with you around, I almost feel like we're just shooting the breeze back at school, like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Thanks for your advice. I'll think about it. <laughs> I hope we find him soon. Mm -hmm. You kind of don't, though, do you? You're thinking about how you wish we didn't have to be put through all of this. You want to see him, but you wish you could rest easy knowing he's safe sound and sound back home rather than wandering around here. Am I right? Must be those maternal instincts of yours kicking in, huh? You're a deep one, to be sure. She may sound like an idiot, but she's right on all counts. Guess there's no fooling Seiko. I've been pretty curt with her since we got here. I'll um, make sure to... I apologize later. Hmm? <laughs> and what was that exactly? <laughs> Sorry, it's just when I see that ass of yours, I start to drool. You are so weird. <laughs> Big brother! That was Yuka again. I heard it too. I'll go take a look. You stay here and rest, okay? I'll be back in a jiffy. No, Seiko, don't go anywhere. I don't I don't want you to leave me. Don't don't leave me alone here. I don't think that's such a good idea. I should go too. I insist, don't worry, I'll be fine. Just keep that ass parked on that bed, you got it? Well, but look, your ankles all dressed and feeling better, right? Don't make it all for nothing. Alright, I guess I'll stay here. I'm not okay with this, even a little. Mm, my ankle really does feel a lot better. Seiko has a definite knack for caretaking. <sighs> Miss Yue and the others, Satoshi. wonder what they're all doing right now. Grumble, grumble. I gotta say, that was a pretty impressive reaction. Who ever heard of a class representative with a sadistic streak? I've never heard of a boy gonna hit a note like that when he screams. <laughs> Eek! Save me! <clears throat> Don't be an ass, Yashiki. Okay, okay, let's not have any fighting. I have to admit, though, his reaction was awfully cute. Oof. I just want to see him. Why did this have to happen? The candle's out. It's an old journal on the desk. At least, it appears to be a journal. In reality, it's more like a model fused to the desk surface. It can't be lifted, the pages can't be turned. 
All right. Why is the door locked? Close inspection, there's no visible bolt keeping the door closed, nor any other evidence that it's been locked at all. Well, that's not good. What? But if it's not locked, then why won't it open? <laughs> Are those children? So I'll go on a field trip together over summer vacation. Hello? What? Candles out. Hello? My head hurts so bad. I can't. It's ringing in my ears. Uh. Uh, hello? Wash the blood with soap. That's not what it said earlier. Not even a little bit what it said earlier. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Dora's lattice with countless strands of black hair rooting it in place. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not okay with this at all. Is, is someone there? Sounds like a ballpoint pen scribbling away on a sheet of paper. Can I rattle, rattle? Looking closely, the whole shelf seems to be shaking violently. Oh, shit. Hello? Sachi? Have you come to find me? Hey! Whoa! What? No. Get, a, get the... It's no use. Where'd the hair come from? God help me. Try using a match to burn the hair? Yeah. Flame isn't strong enough to do any significant damage. Hey! No! Oh god. Black winds begins to wrap itself around Naomi's body. There's no question it's beloved, but force this continues. Death is inevitable. Hey! Whoa! No! God. Hey, uh, uh, that passwordly scrawled shorthand begins appearing in a journal on the desk as if being written by unseen hands. Letters are so misshapen and inconsistent, however, that they're completely illegible. Uh, take the bottle of rubbing alcohol? Yeah, acquired rubbing alcohol. I. Excuse me, can you, like, not follow me? Yeah. I don't know what that said. Strong, sensible wish and a waft of foul-smelling heat. The air lit up, the har then hardened and fell away, freezing the door, freeing the door and allowing it to open. <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ, that was terrifying. <sighs> oh, Jesus. I'm going to kill you. What? What? Eek! I'm in an utter panic. I began to run as fast as my feet would carry me. I was out of, so out of sorts I didn't even know where I was running. I kept calling out Seiko's name over and over. When I realized when I gained my senses, I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. Seiko! Seiko, where are you? Come on, Seiko. Don't leave me by myself in here. Seiko? Seiko, is that you? The fuck? Hello? Oh god. The stall door is locked from the inside. Someone's definitely in there. <gasps> Oh, Jesus. Say a go. No. Why? Why? No. Ne oh, me. You're alive? Hold on. I'll get you down. We gotta get grab this bucket. Uh. 
Uh, acquired filthy bucket. Seiko, I'm right here. Filthy bucket fell from Naomi's hands. Like eyes, Seiko swings back, swung back and forth slowly in her noose. All life has been completely drained from her face. Uh, no! 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 Seiko's dead. Why? Why would you hang yourself? You were smiling and laughing all this time. Didn't you say we'd find a way out of here together? Stop this. Don't leave me all by myself. Say something. <laughs> Child spirits? I can't move. I, I can't even speak. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm really, really, really scared. <laughs> Somehow or another, Naomi found herself with a large pair of sewing scissors in her hand. Her mouth was agape, and she was lowering the open scissors as if intending to swallow them whole. <laughs> I feel the scissor blades clanging against my molars. I can hear it, too. What what am I doing? Why would I try and swallow a pair of scissors? My hand's moving on its own. No, stop. Ah. Ah. Did I just die? Uh -huh. Did I just die? I just died. Apparently I did something wrong. Well, fine then. I'm going to leave that episode there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Whatever I Decide to Make. Good night, signing out. Bye.